so sorry about causing all of that friction. If I had just let you stay here, I know you don't want to hear this, but let me get it off my chest. I want to say I'm sorry one more time, okay? If I'd have just let you lay here and sleep for a couple of days, you know, and just left you alone and then taking you back home. Uh, but, you know, I was so hell-bent on thinking that I could get you fixed and, and get you well and help you and all of that kind of stuff that I totally, I mean, I, I did the wrong thing. And I apologize, Brianna. I am so sorry. Well, how come they it had, has, how, who was that lady? Anyways. What lady? That lady that was here. That that she wasn't a cop, but she was in regular clothes. Who was she? Uh, I think she was a social worker. I think she just makes the follow ups after uh, hospital admissions. Why? What? I mean, what? What gave her the right to, to say that I had to go up there to the hospital? I don't get why she said I had to go. I don't know. Just because I didn't. I mean. She was I don't know. All, all I did, all I wanted, Brianna, was just to help you, and I'm, I apologize. I am so sorry. What did they ever say to you? Whenever that it was that whole time, like, what did anybody say to you? Because I don't, I didn't get any information. They didn't even do anything. Uh, do you know that they would not give me any information? They wouldn't tell no, me Brianna, anything. The only they didn't information, do anything? Brianna, let pointless. me tell you. That, that happened like on a Sunday or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I, I can't remember the exact day. It was a Monday and I, and I had to say on Friday. I, I went to the hospital and I talked to uh, one of the nurses. And uh, I talked to her for like two hours. And it was outside of, you know, all of that locked area. And uh, they would not let me talk to the doctor. They would not tell me anything. And they would not let me see you until, you know, Dad and I were there for that visitation. And, but no, they, because of HIPAA and because of your age, they, they wouldn't give me any information whatsoever. Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of screwed up that they didn't even do anything the whole entire time that I was there. Well, I called the hospital after they uh, uh, dismissed you and after what they did to Dad. You know what they did to Dad, don't you? No. They, uh, 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 Dad was very, very upset because he wanted you to go with him. And uh, uh, they signaled a uh, policeman, and uh, the policeman stopped Scott uh, uh, right outside the hospital and made him sit on the sidewalk. And uh, he called me crying, and he says, I just don't want her to die. And what do I do? And, I mean, Dad's sitting there crying. And uh, he says, and the policeman's making me sit here. I can't, I can't go after her. And uh, they let you go on your merry way. Yeah, but I, was, I wasn't you know going to die. Do you know that they, they, the policeman even followed Dad out of town? <laughs> okay, that's yeah, he followed, he followed Dad out of town. I think he would have arrested Dad. I don't understand how that all happened because I wasn't going to die. So it's not like well, I was going to die. At the time, at the time, we're not we're not worried about you now. But at the time, we were very very worried about you. Very like, worried. Like what? And you know, I just I just wanted my. But what were, but back. what were you worried about? I uh, just everything. Because you want you weren't your normal self, and I wanted my old Brianna back, and I've come to the realization that you know it's it's you know it's you know life is your choice, and when you want to come back to us, well, you'll come there, back. like I was saying earlier, there was a lot of things that I was under mad pressure. I had mad stress and dealing with all kinds of stuff. I couldn't get that job at St. John's back. They were telling well, me all I, I, I almost, now that I think about it, I almost think that that last semester that you were going to MSU, you were under so much pressure. And that one night that you had to do everybody's work because you wanted to get a good grade and nobody would meet for the meeting and you called me and you were just, you were just hysterical and you said you'd been up for 24 hours. I think that you almost had a mental breakdown and, uh, you know, and, and, you know, I mean, things like that need to get treated and, you know, 
Well, it was because they said I had. They said I had to. I had to take this class, and I had already taken it and gotten a D in it. But I could retake it. But I didn't. Want